Hola, freaky people. So, happy birthday to me. This is this is perfect timing. I can't really complain about this. This is a watch that I've been waiting for, and you're gonna hear me say two things in here repeatedly. Number one, Christopher Murley's, and number two, Pagani Design. So, I started, I started this whole watch addiction uh, not a year ago, maybe maybe eight months or so ago. One of the things that I found was an Invicta at the time. And I was so shocked that it was a Rolex clone. I posted a video with my complete newbie, you know, discovery. Chris replied to that video and said, well, you haven't seen anything. Go check out Pagani Design. And I did. And since then, I think this is like my fourth or fifth because of him. Now, this one is interesting to me because it is... It is not a diver, and as you can see, I have a buttload of divers. This is my Breitling Super Ocean 42. Freaking love this watch, more of a sporty style. Love the rubber strap on it. Love the blue and, and white face with that little red accent. I just, I love this watch. In fact, out of all the Super Oceans, even though this is probably one of the most economical versions of Breitling, this is my favorite. I like this design. It's just clean and sporty and fun and yeah, liking it. Anyway, so there's another design that I've been attracted to, more of a gentleman's watch, and I've been trying to find something that fits the bill. Now, a lot of the watches I've looked at, Seiko, Citizens, Longines, whoever, they follow the same pattern where they come up with these classy dials, these classic dials, and for some reason they think that like a white with silver or white with gold is a good match, and for me that just doesn't make a lot of sense because the watch almost becomes unreadable in many conditions and so I, I gravitate more towards the darker hands and you're gonna see a theme here with the blue so anyway so I've been looking for this flavor of watch now Tudor has one I think it's the 1926 or 1826 something like that but the thing is six grand no no that's not the one it's two grand but it's a watch that I'm not I'm not totally in love with you know I I like Tudor but ah, they're, they're too diver heavy if that makes any sense like that cube or diamond second hand or minute hand i just just not into that so the long and short of it is this watch is another one that i have to credit to chris i wouldn't know about this this company if it wasn't for him and i think i like this better than the two-door and let me show you why so let me crack the box open all right more of a classy design got this fake felt happening here your polishing cloth and there she is there she is it's Let's just say hi to her. Is she pretty? She's so pretty. How are you, little girl? Yeah. How are you doing? Mm-hmm. I'm liking this. All right, so quick comparison, side by side with the Breitling. More of a classy kind of watch. Mm-hmm. Let me uh, bring up some specs so I can cheat and tell you about it. All right, so it has a does not have a screwed on crown. That's fine. It's interesting. My dad, when I was growing up, had a manual winding watch, and he would lay it on the kitchen table every night, similar to that. And when he would wake up in the morning, he would pop it off, and one of the first things he would do is wind it. And I know it's more of a romantic notion, but I kind of like manually winding my watch. I know it sounds probably weird, but... So, yeah, so let me um, let me set the time real quick. I'm going to set it to yesterday. Today is December 23rd. Spin the hands. Now we're in the a.m. Now we're in the p.m. It's going to be 17.09, and there we go. All right, so let's get a little bit of a close-up here. And so what do we have? We have the Pagani Design New Pilot Watch Luxury Sapphire Automatic Watch 200 meter mechanical watches top brand watches for men. At least that's what it says on the AliExpress website. There's a close up. Beautiful. Quick shot of the back. Now in so this, so the actual model number on this is the PD, so Papa Delta dash YS, so Yankee Sierra 003. You see that little sign buckle? That's nice. So not the not the best leather, not the best leather feeling strap, but definitely a nice one. It is um it's a blue strap. So again, the whole blue color thing happening here. Throw it in the cankle wrist. Gonna have to get a bigger, bigger strap or a smaller wrist or both, because that's kind of disgusting on the old cankle wrist. Yeah, it is. It's also because the strap's a bit stiff. So trying trying to find that hole right at the end at that point. So there it is in the cankle wrist. Again, seven and three quarter inch paw or wrist. It is, uh, yeah, listed as 20 bar automatic, hand wind, automatic, self-winding. Sapphire crystal has this domed crystal. I don't know if you can see that. I can't complain about that. God, it's a fat ass wrist, man. Look at that. That's like a, yeah, that's a cankle. That's like a, what the, I mean, that's not, it's almost not human. Maybe it's the angle. Maybe it's just, maybe it just is what it is. Holy crap. All right, anyway. Yeah, so case thickness, 13 millimeters. 
zoom back out. Sorry for making you sick. 13 millimeter thickness, 41 millimeter case width. My cat's butt is in the way. 22 millimeter band width. It's interesting. They've got two. They've got two listings on the AliExpress website. They have band length listed as 22. I don't know what the heck that is. It's definitely not 22. And they have a band width listed as 20. So I honestly don't have calipers with me. Ah, again, there's the 13 inch or the 13 millimeter side shot. Kind of a dome crystal. Country of origin is China. Yeah, I'm just digging that face. So what I like about it is I like the simple design. I like the blue. I like the white, or I should say the light on dark, right? So Tissot has some watches like this. Longines has a few watches like this, but they all have a bit more complex and a bit ornate dials. I like this simple design. It's it's almost like a, I guess, a more modern version of a, an orient face. I guess that's the best way I would describe it. But I'm liking, I'm liking that, I'm liking that design. So push down crown, winding from that position, not a screw down. So we have a date complication at the base. We have the blue hands. I don't know if you can see that in the light. The hands are definitely blue. It is just, in my opinion, a beautiful little watch. Again, the whopping price tag, under 100 bucks. So let's see, is there anything else in the box? No, that's it. And well, I guess there's a manual on the side. And this, the surprising part is this, this, even this box. I mean, I know the box is nothing special, but this is definitely, this is a better box than like Spinnaker. I can't complain. There's the user's manual and international guarantee. There's the Bugatti design guarantee card, not completed. Yeah, all in all, I think this is a gorgeous watch. The only thing that ruins it is what it's connected to, the skin underneath it. Yeah, the strap is, the strap is a bit small, but that's just because I have a seven and three quarter inch ankle wrist. Yeah, I have to be honest. If I were to compare this to the Longines equivalent to the Tudor equivalent, I like this one better and it's a hundred bucks. So anyway, another video where I need to say thank you to Chris, Chris Murley's Murley on Time channel. I wouldn't know about this brand without him. The interesting part is this hundred dollar watch will probably get more wrist time than my Super Ocean. So I hate to admit that, but I just like it that much. Anyway, close. Oh, real quick. So this box, you've heard me say it before, we're only about 10 subscribers away. There's two Seiko 5s in here. One for me, one for you. So subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And in, I think, 10 more subscribers, when I hit the 400 mark, I will be doing a quick giveaway for all the subscribers that have a public subscription. And uh, one of them is going to be receiving this watch in the mail. So it's almost Christmas time. Probably won't get there for Christmas, but still a nice watch in this box. One that I'm excited to wear and I won't wear until I can give it away. So anyway, I hope this helps. So the Pagani design, PD something something, I don't know the model number, but again, this Alexa, shut awesome. up. All right, so as I was saying, click subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. In a couple days, you might be wearing the Seiko 5. In the meantime, thank you, Chris, for turning me on to this brand. I hope this video helps somebody. Talk to you later.